Rumors of a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Lite variant begin to surface. The Oppo N1 will begin sales soon, but no word on Cyanogen Mod, and the FTC approves the Microsoft Nokia deal you all been waiting for. I'm Jaime Rivera, and stop looking at me funny, I have to wear these long sleeves when it's cold. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start off with some official news as the Federal Trades Commission has just approved the Microsoft Nokia buyout that a lot of people have been waiting for, and this just happens a couple of weeks after the European Trades Commission has just approved the same thing. So the companies have green lights to do what they plan to do, and hopefully we will be getting some products from their collaboration if we didn't already get the products already. Uh, just stay tuned, let's hope they keep the Nokia name. And for those of you that are wanting a 4K display on your smartphone, Meizu from China has already taken a step closer, and even though this MX4G does does not support a 4K display. It's got a 2560 by 1536 5.5 inch display, which is a whopping 500 and something pixels per inch. That's just crazy. I really don't know who will even look for pixels on this thing, but still, it's going to be available soon in China. Hopefully, we'll be getting a variant in the United States, though we're still not sure. Stay tuned for that. But obviously, this means that the technology is just a step closer to coming to our displays by next year. Now, let's talk about Samsung as those two new colors that were reported from the Argentina website are now available. This is Merlot Red and also Rose Gold White and Rose Gold Black. You get those soon, links in the description for details. But even more interesting is that apparently we will be getting another variant of the Galaxy Note 3 soon, and this is gonna be actually a light phone. Apparently it's gonna be launched in Barcelona, which is MWC next year, and it seems that we'll either have a lesser camera or a lesser display, we're still not sure. I just hope that this is actually the active version of the Galaxy Note 3, which was also reported reported of months ago, but stay tuned for that. And for those of you that are interested in the official Cyanogen Mod smartphone, aka the Oppo N1, well, the phone is going to be on sale on December 10th, but there's kind of a catch as we do know that this phone is going to be launched with their Color OS, but we still don't know if it's going to be launched with the Cyanogen Mod variant at the same time. We still don't have any official word on that. Now, remember this is a very special phone. The specs are probably not the best, but it's got this swivel camera that's really cool. And if this is going to be the first Cyanogen Mod phone officially, hopefully we We'll be getting it soon. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we've been begged for the longest time to have a torture test, and we finally have one. We thought that the LG G Flex and its self-healing technology would be the best phone to start. And you can watch Michael Fisher's full video on his real-world torture test. We're not just throwing the phone on the floor. We're actually giving you a real-world usage scenario of how you can torture this phone, and what it will survive and what it won't. So make sure you watch the full video, but that leads me to the question of the day. Would you be willing to pay a company to actually code a phone to take torture? I mean, think about it. You pay a lot of money for invisible shields, so would you pay for a coding, something special? Because in my particular case, if they would ask me for 50 bucks, just like invisible shield, um, I would definitely pay for it. But leave us a comment down below. What would you prefer? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.